Hey everybody, my name is Wellens, and first of all, apologies for sounding a little congested. I've been trying to wait this cold out for like a week now, and it just won't die. But if you can look past that, then I'd love to welcome you to an early look of Control today. So Remedy Entertainment, the dev, and 505 Games, the publisher, have very kindly let me check out Control a tad earlier than its release to celebrate Women's Equality Day, which commemorates when American women were given the right to vote back in 1920. And now you're thinking, wow, that's great, but why are we celebrating that? Well, Remedy is a pretty established studio that's been around for nearly 25 years, and they have a lot of iconic characters like Alan Wake or Max Payne. But what makes Control different is that this game's protagonist, Jessie Faden, will be Remedy's first playable female protagonist ever in the entire history of the studio. And they'd like to celebrate that, which is why they've organized this event for female content creators around the web. So everyone say thank you Remedy, thank you 505 for organizing this and letting me show you control. Okay, let's begin. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times, it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, oh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Yeah, I see it. But what is it? I can feel it. It resonates. The things you show me, my friend, I forget. It's all in my head. There's no you, right? Whoa. Where is everybody? I need someone to point me in the right direction. There are people outside. But it's just this one building, and that one thing in the middle there, that looks a bit... off. Am I talking to a voice in my head? The Federal Bureau of Control. Sounds generic and governmenty enough, but I believe this place researches things that go against the known laws of nature. That's why they say things like, fear of the unknown, cause what we don't know is much scarier than what we do. Oh, what the heck is that? 
Can I jump? I can jump. But there's not too much we can do about it. No one's here. Prohibited items reminder. Reminder. Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. Number two pencils. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal concept. For example, rubber ducks, ketchup bottles. What? All material under Bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. I don't even see a single person here, let alone private or public entrance. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Internal lockdown in effect. Building lockdown in effect. Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Head of research override. HRA protocol activated. That can't be good. The seek shelter sign is on. I don't work here? But I was called here by... Somebody. Or something. Alright. Well, the electricity is still working. That's one good thing. Bureau expenditures. Expenditure summary compiled by FBC... Oh, Federal Bureau of Control, Accounting Department, by order of Director Zakaria Trench. I think that's the name that was on the painting during the first cutscene. Executive Sector, Q2. Major, Staffing, Surveillance, uh, Data Center Initiative, Construction, uh, uh, Minor, Office Equipment, Janitorial Costs, uh, Mold Removal, HQ Livability Costs. For costs breakdown spreadsheet, see page 5. For 5-year comparison chart, see page 9. There's a lot of censored out things, which is... understandable, I think. This is a place that holds a lot of secrets. I'm a little bit surprised that they have a public-facing entrance where you can see people standing outside, though. This seal... I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Some kind of circle. The logo of this place. I can run. Head of research. Dr. Casper Darling. Yeah, that logo right there. And just for the record, I am being monitored right now. Is the movement of that camera automatic, or done by somebody? I don't know. Our bureau at work. That's odd. Director, Zakaria Trench. Zach? Oh, I don't like washrooms. Okay. So far, so normal. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. What's this building to the public, then? It says Federal Bureau of Control right at the entrance. More importantly, where is everybody? Office rules of conduct. Speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. No food or drink. 
No using photocopier for personal projects. Wear access badge at all times. No discussing confidential projects out loud. Even within the building? The one to finish the coffee pot makes a new one. Nope, oh, fair enough. What was that? Not nervous at all. Oh wow, none of this is branded. Somehow. Hello? What year is this? Some of the technology looks pretty old. Ooh, okay. FPC, attention all- uh, uh, A shark in his- uh, Although secure. Uh, permission to following basic protocol. Shoot to kill. Good luck. That's right. We read about a containment breach. And there's nobody here now. Not even corpses or dead people, but just... Nothing. What the hell was making that sound? I don't know. R4 reports reminder. Hello. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request Form R4E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2, of the employee manual. If your R4 requires interdime <laughs> Freud and slip, interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be so busy on Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. R4? Is that like a T4? What the hell? Hello? Hey, excuse me. Okay. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. The janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, neither. You are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hollowed. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Marty the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. You're damn straight. Okay, well that was a lot less sinister than what I thought it was. Since we heard him singing all the way from this room, I thought it was something in this room that was invisible, trying to scare me or something, but it was relatively normal. 
Just a guy on the job in the middle of a seemingly abandoned building all by himself. Singing. No worries. Elevator. Wait, what the hell? Oh, okay, we went back out the bigger exit here. Isn't there something about not using elevators during emergencies? The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? So it seems like our girl Jessie has some... What do you call it? Affinity for accessing the supernatural. A place like this should hire me. But it took me all the way until now to find it. Whoa, the blueprint changed. Oh my lord. Oh, that's stylish. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Oh... I have a brother. If I have some kind of supernatural power, I would assume that maybe it's genetics related, and my brother might be the same. These constant noises are freaking me out. We don't have clearance level. Okay. Can we turn off the alarm? Uh... Did that just move? What was that? You saw that, right? The monitor is just kind of shook for a second. Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> Approved terminology reminder. Reminder regarding drafting any public-facing material. While pending any notifications of death related to the Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines. Words slash phrases to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, proud pride, will be remembered. Words, phrases to avoid. Alaska. Scissors. Blood, bleed. Loss. Apologies. Sorry. Scissors. Okay. Am I imagining this? <laughs> the doors keep freaking me out. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside the building. I wish I had a flashlight or something. These constant, like, random little noises here and there. Putting me on edge. Trench, do not disturb. Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Ooh. Sounds like the director became very paranoid. What is this? That's a lot of lights. Some kind of transfer system? Is 
Central Executive. <sighs> what? I don't have any weapons. Shit. Oh! Shit, shit, shit. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? We saw earlier a gun was being pointed in this guy's head. or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> No, I have a weapon now. It means they can attack me. Follow the board's instructions to complete the astral plane challenge. What? <laughs> nearly died. I picked up the gun and they're trying to assess if I'm like worthy of the gun or something. Hello? <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. Okay. The same gun. It's not a normal gun. Okay. Now I have a gun. Alright. Service weapon? If you say so. Damn, they take a lot of hits. Doesn't help that I'm missing, but still. Okay, good to know. It takes a while to recharge. Regenerates ammunition automatically when not in use. Can I pick that up? Oh, maybe it's like health, but I have full health right now. I'm not sure of the key to switch shoulders, by the way. Whoa, 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 whoa! It looks humanoid shaped, but it's also very, like, contorted. Like, look at when it walks. It's, like, shrunken down. That's cheating. You can't do that. These aren't other people or something, right? Yeah, this is health. Cool. Whoa. The triangle. Something's coming. 
this threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Oh, girl. Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? So this guy... The pyramid said only the director can wield the gun. If I failed that challenge, I might have killed myself in real life. Which might be what happened here, but he is a director. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I have the gun with me now. That's lovely. Okay. I have a map. But this place moves, right? So... Maybe that's not something we want to trust that much. Oh god! security guards his guard his guard field research on his entity his corrupted security guard confidential compiled by Emily Pope research specialist by order of director Jesse Faden me what? Oh, you know what? When I go back to that painting later, it's gonna be me. Summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. His guards used the standard issue bullpup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump-action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception that certain Hiss guards are protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of prolonged his corruption? Does the his mature in organic hosts over time? More data is needed. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Does the his have that level of cognizance? Does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat? These are all questions for later, although it is obvious that corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons. Refer to file uh, for full report. But if we kill these guys, the actual security guards die too, right? And we can't bring them back? That's not so good. Oh, we couldn't get in here earlier. But I should have access now. No? Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's me! Did this one change? I don't think so. Oldest house. Discovered August... 1964. Discovered? Not built or whatever. Discovered. Okay, I'm trying to get to that area there. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Oh, Jesus. Breach the hotline. 
the hotline, says the dead man. Okay. Whoa! Hold on. Headshots seem to hurt for a lot more. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Undefined reading. You do not have a clearance level. Okay. Did I collect something else? Oh, service weapon. Acquisition date four days or three days after the oldest house was discovered. No containment procedures. Description. Para utility. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para utilitarians to. Ooh. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of. director, maybe? The object will determine whether they are fit to be a director. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. This process is dictated by the. Ooh, though their criteria is unknown. Background. The object was discovered inside the oldest house, in the room that is now used as the director's office. The popular hypothesis is that uh, many forms throughout history Mjolnir, Excalibur, Varunastra, all weapons that uh, of their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconsciousness, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. If that is the case, uh, I almost wish they don't tell me anything, because you're kind of giving me half of it. And I'm getting more and more scared because of that. Okay, let's look around after we kill everybody. Oh god. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that's not normal. Uh. Oh, they don't even really go away. Is that the his shield? Okay. Executive meeting minutes. Rising costs of outer world events response. Update on mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared. Thank you for your time. Did they ever get to have their other meeting? I don't know. Am I hitting that? I don't even know. Is that where I want to be? It's the washroom. There's no mirrors in the washroom. experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. 1. Search the room for any altered items or objects of power. 2. Carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. 3. Wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Building shift. The rooms change. God. What the hell is going on?
Oops. Yeah, they don't die. At all. But they also don't attack me, so I guess that's fine. Uh, it must not be modern times right now. Probably close to 1964. What the hell? We can't read any of this yet. Shelter! Maximum occupancy, six persons. Okay, that looks like where we should be headed to. Maybe. Whoa, okay. That does not look like where we should be going to. It is, though. But what about this? Somebody did come in here, but nobody is safe. Reading? For Marshall's eyes only. Marshall was one of the department heads. H. Marshall, L. Keenum. Marshall, we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Wasn't anything. Just like the house fire before this, and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake AWEs from the real things. Or, you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. They're going to different places to look for... strange objects? <laughs> Malfunctioning clothes dryer. So it seems like it can be anything, but we don't know until we check it out for sure. Okay... Now we're stuck in here. In the shelter. But there's nothing in here anyway. Lord. This can't be real. Let me just have a look around back here. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there, don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she is turning 46. You need the bureau to remind you of this? Don't let mold hitch a ride. Perform daily body checks for foreign plant matter. Mold. Can't find your office? Watch your step. So people working here, the building shift stuff, it's all completely normal. It's just part of the job. But what about these noises we're hearing? Is that normal? The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. This relationship here kind of reminds me of Jody and Aiden from Beyond Two Souls. Oops. Uh, multimedia. That's the one we got earlier. Urban Legends. Examination of paranatural topics. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as a modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain mm, informed by our own ooh, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially uh, in popular culture using uh, our bureau-made anthology television program. Oh. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, AWEs that only occur on uh, a pair of scissors that consume human... Human what? 
through two punctures on the... These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Well, that's reassuring. Are things moving around here? Or am I just bumping into things? I don't know. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby? Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as a part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How'd you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they'll need to leave. If their answers seem... suspicious, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then uh, immediately. Remember, there is no such thing as too suspicious. Hmm. Oh, you know how earlier the portrait said that this oldest house was discovered? Maybe that's why this building is in such a front-facing location. Because they can't control it. They had to build around it. Okay. The pyramid. Hello? Whoa! Ranged second class Pulaski. Whoa! What the hell was that? Well, we gotta hang back here. My health! Holy crap! Whoa! That guy's way too scary. I think I stood next to... Oh, damn. I think I stood next to an explosive thing earlier. And it took so much of my health right away. Okay, what the heck am I even looking at right now? It's already kind of disturbing. Take two. Headshots do so much more. Oh, they can throw grenades! That's the problem. This guy. Got you now. Just you wait. This guy's completely armored. Oh god. Oh, that's more like it. Must cleanse control points. An enemy. Corrupt. Spread it. Cleanse the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Oh. 
Holy shit. Oh. You did it. We did it. Hello. Can you hear me? Are you with Hope. us? Hope. With the Bureau. No. Are you still sane? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Oh god. Only this one specific location has been cleansed. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. Emily Pope? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. <laughs> oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on, we're coming out. Wait, they know. Director, Faden, call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. It's even more for me. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also... And this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking <laughs> unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. Good. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Without dying. Hopefully. One thing that caught my attention in that conversation just now was how Jesse apparently named the hiss. But we had this report already compiled by Emily Pope by the order of me, which already says that it's called the hiss. The lady talks about how there's a new director, like it's nothing, but there's like paintings and portraits of me all over the place already and whatnot. <sighs> this is all very spooky and confusing already. I love it. Control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the U uh, arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. 
These control points are discovered by ooh, detection of an unobstructed ping using the within the 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that the control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be stabilized. Okay. Oh, this whole thing is so weird already. I love it. I also really love the little inner monologues Jessie has. Gives a lot of insight to what kind of girl she is. Uh, there's someone glowing over there, but I think this is a pretty good spot to end off here. When we come back, we will investigate what the heck that is. Let me know what your thoughts are on Control so far, because I am so into this already. Alright, see you later.